When hatching chicks, it's important to maintain the proper temperature and humidity in your incubator. If the temperature or humidity inside the incubator is too high or too low, the developing chicks could be in danger. If your incubator does not have automatic humidity controls, relative humidity can be measured by using a wet bulb thermometer. A wet bulb thermometer is fairly simple and inexpensive to make. You will need a mercury-free dry bulb thermometer that can display temperature between 85 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Please note, the most oral thermometers you might find at a drugstore do not display low enough temperatures and will not work for this application. You should instead look at a science supply store. Once you have your thermometer, be sure to shake the thermometer down below 80 degrees before using it. You will also need a 6 inch long piece of hollow cotton shoelace. It's important that you use cotton shoelace to ensure proper water absorption. Nylon and polyester laces will not work. You're going to attach one end of the shoelace around the bulb of the thermometer. I find it easiest to do this by first wetting the shoelace. This discourages fraying. Do you see how you have fraying here and less here? It's important that the shoelace completely surrounds the bulb of the thermometer. So as we open it, we're going to put it around the thermometer. And on this thermometer, I find that it's nice to be able to have a paper clip to be able to help wedge it up around there really good so that we can get a nice tight fit that ensures that it's going to stay on there after. It's important that the shoelace completely surround the bulb of the thermometer. As you can see here, we'll flip it over and you can see both sides are completely surrounded by the shoelace. The opposite end of the shoelace goes into your incubator's container of water. Depending on the setup of your incubator, you'll need to find a way to suspend the thermometer so it will not interfere with your egg rotation. In our incubator, we use twist ties to secure it at the top of the dome, as shown here. Next, you'll close the incubator and wait approximately an hour to be sure enough time has passed for the incubator to reach the suggested interior temperature and for the cotton to fully absorb the water before attempting to read your wet bulb thermometer. For chicken eggs, Relative humidity should be between 50 and 55 percent for the first 18 days and 65 percent for the last three days. To determine relative humidity, first determine the air temperature within the incubator. This should be between 99 and 102 degrees Fahrenheit. Then, read the wet bulb thermometer. You will find the relative humidity by comparing the two temperatures using the relative humidity chart that can be found in the Eggology Lesson Plan on the AITC website. For example, if our temperature in the incubator or dry bulb reading is 100 degrees and our wet bulb reading is 84 degrees, I'm just going to follow this across to where those two lines meet. This percentage, 52%, is the relative humidity. Humidity levels can be maintained by adjusting the water level in the incubator's water container. Good luck with your wet bulb thermometer. If you have any other questions, visit the AITC website. Thanks.